I love you and I honor you and I respect you no less than the day I came to know you. But if you can't be here with me, then I have no choice but to walk away. I'm sorry. Forgive me. People were starting to think you forgot all about us. We get you, what, two, three times a decade? In a while, stranger. Do you ever plan on finishing anything? It's been tough on him for a long time. And then with the fire. The Travis you knew and what he became? Night and day. I suppose you want to know what happened? Just like that, I just snapped and burned it down. I didn't mean for everyone to die. This terrible thing that he's done. Somebody explain to me what's going on. We've got the facts. He was there. What are you after here? Let it go. Travis didn't do what he's being blamed for. Plain and simple. I don't buy it, Travis. I don't buy any of it. Your whole story. How long would you say it was before the farmhouse was fully engulfed? How long would that take? Look, I've asked you to stop. One half of me says, you know, do what they say, come to terms with it, let it go. The other half says, no. No, Dad, I'm sorry. You wanted me to finish something, this is what I'm finishing. And for that, he wants one thing, and one thing only, our faith. No matter how challenged we may feel, whatever dark shadow we find ourselves cast under, he is there for us, fighting that rust that works its way into all of our lives and smothering us with that unconditional and everlasting blanket of warmth and comfort. Have patience. Have faith. God is not forsaken.